if you took everything in the ocean and uh, that you're familiar with, you were able to weigh it on a giant balance, about 95% of the material by weight would be microbial. And so it turns out that viruses uh, kill about 50% uh, of this, about half of this weight every um, three or four days. And so by doing that, they're releasing tremendous amounts of material, which then fuel all the other organisms in the ocean. Uh, so in terms of carbon production and keeping the wheels turning, uh, so viruses turn out to be a really important cog in that wheel. A cog that we didn't even know existed, you know, 20 years ago or 15 years ago. One of the things that we did early on when, when I was in Texas was to develop a, a technique of using bright, brightly fluorescent dyes which stain the nucleic acids of viruses so that you could actually easily count them. This huge viruses that we right. just pulled out. And so that's the, the and, and what do you think these patterns are on the outside of that? We're very interested in the diversity of viruses, or genetic diversity, what kinds of viruses are out there. So what we have in here is we've got a bunch of viruses that we've concentrated from all over the world, and some of them are quite interesting. This one here is a particular one actually quite local from Rifle Island. We've got other ones here, for instance, from Antarctica. If we look at some here from, say, the Gulf of Mexico, um, what we found there are these, like, these large viruses that I was just talking to Matt Fisher about. This is where we isolated these from. So we'll actually take these water samples. We will take a, a potential host organism. We'll try and kill it, basically, by a bioassay. And if we're able to kill one of these organisms, then we'll propagate that virus till we end up with a pure virus, like the one that we were looking at on the screen. So what Danielle and, and uh, Emma are doing here, they've collected water from, uh, from Sanit Chinlet. And they're essentially taking all the viruses out of somewhere between 20 and 40 liters of seawater and they're concentrating those viruses down and that's the material that we use to isolate new viruses from the environment but also to look at their genetic diversity and try to look at seasonal changes over time. Nobody went out there with the idea of we're going to find viruses in the ocean but allowing people to explore their own ideas and giving them the opportunity to just follow their curiosity is the cornerstone of making big research advances and we can't lose that perspective.